located on the eastern side of the capital city, Nakawa constituency is one of the five divisions of Kampala. Nakawa has a population of about 300,000 and this figure grows by the day. The key business activity here is retail trading supported by small and medium industries, but Nakawa also hosts big industries as well as the National Trade Fair. However, many people in Nakawa live in urban poverty, which is exacerbated by the high level of unemployment. These and many other challenges are top on the priority list of those vying for the top political job in this constituency, the area member of parliament. Nakawa constituency has got a total of 228,438 registered voters. Tasseling it out for this parliamentary seat will be Fred Ruhindi standing on the NRM ticket, Kenneth Paul Kakand on the DP ticket, and Kabazi Guruka Michael from FDC. In the 2006 general election, it was a similar scenario, except that DP's Kenneth Paul Kakande lost to Fred Ruhindi by 270 votes. <laughs> Ruhindi of NRM garnered 30,020 against DP's Kakande with 29,750. The incumbent boasts of bringing development to the people during his tenure of leadership. He succeeded long-serving Bidand Sali, now the president of the opposition People's Progressive Party. And as he was unveiling his manifesto at the beginning of the parliamentary campaigns on 16th December, Ruhindi told the electorate that he is going to step up development activities and scale up the programs in the area. The whole is However, his two-time opponent, Democratic Party's Deputy National Publicity Secretary, Kenneth Paul Kakande, blames Ruhindi for failing to deliver adequate services to the people for all the years he has led them. Every day, member parliament is given 10 million shillings as constituency development fund. And according to them, there is no accountability for that money. My pledge to the people of Nakawa, that money will be a revolving fund. Nakawa constituency has been represented by NRM-leaning politicians for decades. However, Kakande almost changed these trends in the 2006 election when he polled 32% of the vote against Ruhindi's 33%. Interestingly, the residents who voted for change at the presidential level were 60%. Now the stage is set for the two camps to tussle it out again, given that the demands of the electorate remain. The most contentious issue here is the redevelopment of the Nakawa Naguru housing estate into a satellite town. For us, we want to be part of this the development plan of this area. The project is very good. We want to be part of it. If they could give us documents which shows that when we live here, we shall get, we shall be able to get flats here. That's our main business, our main concern. We need houses. Yeah, at least, oh, he gives us each one easy thing so that he can yeah, look where to go. There have been several starts and stops in the process of evicting the sitting tenants from these aging colonial time houses to pave way for UK based company OPEC Prime properties to turn around the dilapidated houses. The moment I'm declared the winner, the member of parliament for Nakawa Division constituency, let them know that the fight is going to begin. They are, not go they are not going to be thrown out like animals. Nakawa Division Chairman Protasio Kintu, who runs the LC3 Council, believes there is still a lot to be done, ranging from infrastructure development to better service delivery, for instance, in the health and education sectors. Uh, the sanitation levels, particularly in uh, congested areas, uh, leaves a lot to be desired. People live in very uh, poor conditions. We would like to see uh, the, the, the education services in the division to, to improve. That's the desire. And all the same applies to the health. We want to see an improved health services in, in Lakawa. With the political temperatures heating up in this high stakes season, the residents here want to vote in someone who will not only listen to their problems but address them in real time. Education, we want support. And women who are widows, we want support. HIV, we now got a support. Now that we have support, senior. We have boys in Naguru, in, in Naguru quarters and go down. They are good footballers. They are all the pitches, they are just selling all the pitches. We are requesting those people to stop those behaviors of, of selling pitches. Now, 
The challenge is whether these people will translate their aspirations into action by voting on issues rather than trivialities or whether they will have the capacity to ensure that what they cast in the ballot is what is declared. Hilara Isiga, NTV.